What's going on, everybody? It is that time in the beginning of the month when we start talking about the all-exclusive 10,000 PSA 10 Club. Now, lots of different stuff on to You guys already heard me talk about Zion, Prism, Rookies being over 20,000. Now, I want you to think about this when you think that's a high pop count. Well, you got to figure... Uh, 53.6% of what they sent in is uh, PSA 10. So you're talking 40,000 of those cards were uh, sent into PSA alone. You still have Beckett ones out there, Raw ones, SGC ones, and every other company under the umbrella of the new grading companies out there. Huge. Um, just by look at this, I don't want to really make this into a super long video, but some of the things I was looking at, like Luca's uh, base rookie from Prism. Now, we're talking stuff that was 18, 19, where they really weren't starting to produce heavy. You're talking that's a card that's over 18,000 now, so you're looking at PSAs graded over way, probably about 35,000 plus or around there of that card. That's another significant one. But some of the stuff I want to draw your attention to mostly is you can start seeing where things are starting to come in from the uh, bulk submissions heavily. And you can tell where people are grading like the 2020 tops, Gavin Lux, 557 more PSA 10s. Luis Robert, tops rookie, over 1,000 more. Uh, tops Chrome Luis Roberts, over 900 more that came into population. Jordan rookies tops over almost close to 600 there. Uh, a lot of baseball, a lot of baseball. If you go down into here, this is just other ones that I've been tracking. And that Boba shit's actually supposed to be a nine. I just clicked on it wrong. Uh, it's not 3,072, trust me. It's 9,072. Uh, but if you look, a lot of the 2020 top stuff is actually what was graded a lot into it. Uh, there's still a good chunk of stuff, you know, coming in basketball. If you look, 1920 Prism Kobe White's 512. Uh, there was another one, RJ Barrett. So you can start seeing this is where stuff started exploding and people started tossing everything out there to get in to get graded. I mean, look at your Marantz 472, Zion 372. Not a whole lot really tapering off Mosaic, Zion Williamson over 600, almost 650. So a lot of stuff is, you know, getting very, very high pop reports. And like I said, that's just for one company. We haven't talked to see Beckett's, SGC's. Um, I don't know how many people are in favor of HGA, but when you start looking at it all, it's really been mass produced. So if you're not like one of the very first few that, you know, in that first month when they start coming back from being graded, you're going to lose tremendous value. And I'll give you an example. The Zion Prism rookies, I want to say they were around eight, nine hundred dollars a pop high. Because I know I was getting around seven to eight hundred dollars, maybe more a pop on my slabs. I'd have to go back and check my records. The Luca Prisms, I mean, as soon as those things were over a grand, I was starting to sell. And if you look at like what Zion Mosaic rookies, not the debut, the regulars, they've really dipped. Now, granted, he hasn't played the weight thing, the knee thing, all that stuff comes into play. But a lot of this stuff has dropped immensely in price. And you start looking at the PSA 10 uh, percentages it's being sent in. I mean, if you take out the 01 Tiger Woods and the Griffey uh, Tops traded rookies, I mean, granted, a lot of it's over 40%. The biggest one that really shocks me is the 2018 Topps Chroma Kunas at 85.9% gem rate. That's big. Same with the Lubobs, over 80%. But again, these numbers here are just for your own informational purposes. Stuff that I've been tracking for a while, and it's what I was using as the bubble came up and I started seeing prices explode. I started looking at the cards that I was I sent in real quickly and got back very, very early. And I was judging on when it was going to start being the next big pop and where things were going to lose a little bit of traction. I knew it was going to start jumping up and down, back and forth and all that. Now we're way down below, I'd say, leveling out. And things are starting to get a little bit different out there. And a lot of people that bought in high 
I mean, they will not move those cards whatsoever, but there's a lot more raw now out there that's being graded. So, you know, a lot of people are going to be stuck with that stuff. My whole philosophy was to get it in and get it out and then get stuff that I could hold on to and revert back to what I was doing, you know, at that time frame was about a year before, prior to maybe even a lot sooner. Because I think I started grading like in PSA heavier a couple months after uh, we went into COVID land. But again, use this information as you want. If you want to buy, sell, trade, whatever you want to do with it. This was just stuff that I was always talking about. People were asking me if they could take a look at this. And we made it now into a monthly video for everybody to take a look at. Like I said, the only thing I do apologize on a 2020 Topps Bichette is actually 9,072. I just uh, hit the three by mistake on it. But the rest of the numbers on it are all correct. Better than that, I will catch you guys next video.